Here are the chart updates for XLM and XRP. Uh, XLM has gone on a parabolic move of about 500% since we called out the buy signal back here on the 6th of November. The price at the time was $0.09. Cents. Yes, we did call the sell signal out, which is our red dot on our indicator right here. That was around November 19th at $0.24. Cents. Okay, that was a 200% trade if you entered on this and exited on this, which is a fantastic trade. Okay. And yes, it did keep going for the next few days all the way up to 63. Our goal here on this channel is to be consistent traders. Okay, We're not trying to hit home runs, grand slams. We're trying to hit singles and doubles. Be consistent. Take our profits when necessary. If you're up 200% on a trade and you're not, okay, you're not taking profits, you are greedy. Okay, you are very, very greedy, and you're going to get crushed. This trade right here on XLM, this is like a 1 in 10,000 trade. I mean, this like will hardly ever happen. You might not ever see it happen again in your lifetime. Catch something like that if you're still holding at the top. Okay, again, our goal as traders is to be consistent, not to try to time the top. We have something in the, in the Discord called the cheat sheet over here. Okay, this is when the smart money's buying, when nobody's talking about it. Okay, nobody was talking about XLM three months ago, or I'm sorry, three weeks ago on the 6th, okay, when it was at nine cents. Now, everybody on Twitter, everybody on the media, everybody's telling you, oh my God, XLM's the next greatest thing in the whole wide world. It's, it's amazing, right? We call that delusion. Oh, it's a new paradigm, right? It's the next big thing. Woohoo, yippee, yeah, okay? But eventually, right, it's going to top out and the people, right, the smart money, the smart people that were buying down here at nine cents before everybody else was talking about it, okay, they're, they're going to end up taking profits eventually. And when they start taking profits is when this sell-off happens, right? It'll go from 60 cents or wherever it's at all the way back down to 20 cents and you'll be down, the people who are buying up here will be down 60 to 80% and be crying, right, to their mamas because their wives just kicked them out because they lost all their savings, Okay, again, we are not bag holders on this channel. We are traders. We lock in profits when necessary. I don't care what the project is. We do not get emotionally attached. We simply buy when it's technically oversold and sell when it's technically overbought. Okay, so that's XLM. Let's take a look at XRP here. Okay, XRP, same thing. Okay, we were calling the signal out right here on the 5th. That was at 50 cents. Okay, right down there. Look at the price, 50 cents. Okay, yes, I did sell mine at about 77 cents. Am I mad about it? No, I'm not. I made 47% on the trade. Could I have made more? Yes, absolutely. Okay, but there's always another trade. Okay, the sell signal actually came somewhere around a buck 10. I sold a little bit before that, and I'm fine with it, guys. You guys saw the video. I made $20,000 in literally 11 days. Why would I be mad about that? Okay, there's always going to be more trades. Again, our goal on this channel is to be consistent and not be bag holders, okay? Not be bag holders, okay? So again, in my opinion, XRP is still very, very overbought. I wanna wait till this blue wave here on the chart pulls back down here, just like it did in November, and that's where I'll take my entry. I'm still expecting this thing to pull back down to its 30-day moving average eventually. That's that blue line on my chart right there. That is the 30-day moving average. That is the one-month uh, average price, the average price over the last month. Okay, I would love to see a pullback into that. It's sitting at about 80 cents right now. It could, it, it, and it keeps moving up as long as the price is up here. So again, waiting on a pullback. Some of you are saying, oh, you're going to be waiting forever. I will wait forever if that's how long it takes. Okay, because again, our strategy, we are consistent. We are simply buying the green dots on the blue wave down here and selling up here on the assets that are in, the, in an uptrend. Okay, that's your update right there for XRP and XLM.